In this Debaco University video, we're going to go on site at the CBG Gurus uh, establishment here to see their soil preparation and also their planting and see the methods they imply to grow their hemp. So it was great to allow uh, for Sean and Jacob to allow me out on their fields and hopefully teach you a little bit about what they do um, in their um, hemp production. So first off, who are they? Uh, well, we've got Sean here, we've got Jacob of the CBG Gurus. Their goal is to produce a quality product um, manufactured in stability and alignment with nature. They use, as we'll see, a, a layer of wood chips uh, to help uh, maintain and improve soil structure and quality. And they also work with Korean natural farming methods. And this kind of idea and concept is to kind of use kind of some of the modern science allowing for sustainable and abundant cultivation of crops worldwide. So this can be applied more to than just hemp. Provide some of their contact information here and their website if you want to take a look at them further. Uh, that microbial solution they're using, and we'll hear a little bit about that described, it's called the JADAM Microbial Solution, or abbreviated JMS. And that's looking at bringing, back, bringing farming back to farmers, restoring farmers' sovereignty and technology, speed up the ultra-low cost farming, and ultimately open a new world where farmers, consumers, and mother nature are all in harmony. Provide some good links here if you want to take a look at it a little bit further, as well as the basic recipe here, um, so you can get a little bit of an idea. If you want to explore that further, take a look at these information provided here as well as in the description but let's go out to the field and see exactly uh, Sean and Jacob in action at the CBG Gurus. As we, uh, we prepare our field uh, with cardboard which decomposes first and kills the sod covered in wood chips which will decompose second um, kind of over time we get this really rich organic matter heavy and kind of very worm casting heavy uh, topsoil and you can see if I hunt through a little bit I'm sure we'll find some worms <laughs> there's one so yeah we're trying to disturb them as little as possible ideally um, but that's one of the big advantages to like the back to Eden style farming um, is over time you're building really, really organic matter rich topsoil and the, really like helping the worm populations grow. Um, a lot of other like microbes and, and insects as well. So, oh, yeah. I'm excited. As time progresses, it all really turns into that rich topsoil. Like it's only been three years um, at this point. I think this is probably an old row. We had some really crazy increases in organic matter. Um, from our first year to the second year doing the Back to Eden style. Um, and it was like, I have, I have more, than, more than like, I think it was like 2.3% 2, 2 organic matter increase um, in the soil. Um, and with the cardboard that we used to kill the sod, we kind of uh, figured that like, and it seemed as we were preparing the holes, the sod decomposes really quickly because it's still pretty alive, has some nitrogen stored in it. Um, and that gives you like an immediate kind of boost. So if you do have like grass, you know, lawn or um, hay field, it can work quite well. So the Jadam microbial solution, um, which is really incredible for soil building and just like soil health in your lower soil layers and the anaerobic layers. Um, one thing we learned uh, at, uh, from Young Sun Cho at his, he's the founder of Jadam, um, is that the, only the top two inches or so of your soil is actually an aerobic environment. So under that is really anaerobic. Um, and a lot of like, 
you know, the mycorrhiza can thrive in a system like ours with all of the wood chips available for them to eat. But um, it's also really important for soil health to have your anaerobic microbes deep down in the soil breaking apart those minerals and rocks and everything. So uh, he created a recipe just using boiled potatoes, uh, salt, water, and then some soil leaf mold. Um, you can look it up online, the JMS, uh, JADAM, or the JADAM microbial solution. Um, and you let it ferment in like a bucket or a, a barrel, a tank, um, for about you know 24 to 36 hours watching as these kind of rings of bubbles accumulate on top. And once they are kind of concentric circles in the tank, you can dilute it with water and uh, pour it over you, your whole field. Um, and you could do it when there are plants in the ground, but it's a great soil prep um, and soil building technique. We heard we uh, heard Preston Smith speak about how he built two inches of topsoil in three months using just Jadam microbial solution and wood chips, because um, there's just such a it's just such an efficient way of fermenting indigenous microbes um, that you could really just get like insane levels of decomposition. So it's really amazing too for like remediation can be done totally cheaply, uh, pretty easily anywhere in the world. So pretty amazing. Yeah, so Sean has drilled with the auger these nice uh, deep holes, hopefully about like two and a half feet or so deep. Um, and then I'm gonna come back in with the pitchfork. And uh, so the holes are about eight inches wide. I'm just gonna stick the pitchfork at about 45 degree on the edge of the holes, kick it down and really just try to loosen up some of that soil down there on, each, on all four corners, all four sides. So I'll go around it like that. Um, really trying to get like underneath the wood chips and not really pull any of the wood chips into the hole um, so they don't sap any of the nutrients, any of the nitrogen. So then once I kind of get around that, I want to go back in and really loosen that soil up uh, with the pitchfork. And let's see, it's a pretty nice big loose hole, a little rock in there. So, a lot of worms. <laughs> Uh, ready to go. Looks nice. Got the dunk bucket over here. So we make, made a big concoction of uh, the base of it was the Korean natural farming um, seed soak solution. Um, so it's the, the base four parts, um, which, okay, I can try, I can think I can uh, remember what we got going on here in this bucket. So we have the, uh, the bone char in vinegar, uh, which is water soluble uh, calcium, um, in addition to some vinegar as like a cleanser um, and to, to um, 
pH balance has some has a SCOBY in it too, as well. Um, so some microbes. Um, then there's the food element, which is the fermented plant juice, which we just extract from fresh, live, local, uh, foraged plants with uh, like a raw sugar. We use demerara sugar. Um, and then finally, the last component is the oriental herbal nutrient, which is a tincture of the five Chinese medicinal herbs. So we have licorice, um, ginger, garlic, um, angelica, and cinnamon, um, tinctured with uh, vodka, two parts angelica. Um, and you keep them separate, but when you do a dunk or a spray or mix it up and dilute it, um, you combine them together. Um, or you can combine them you know, for about a month ideally before. Um, that's what uh, Master Cho says. So um, we have some other beneficial microbes. We got like a BioTerra from uh, Biosafe Systems, who's a nice organic company out of Connecticut that does like IPM solutions um, and a couple other like microbial things mixed in there. The air pruning on the sides, I think, does a nice thing, maybe. Um, and they're just a little bigger, so they, the plants, uh, and deeper. That's the other thing that we found with like the five inch versus the four inch pots. Um, the depth uh, just like really stunted the growth. They were growing together for like two, two and a half weeks, but then by week three, like you could see the taproot would hit the bottom of the small pot and then it would like slow down. Whereas like the other one keeps sending that taproot. So I think the deeper the pot, um, the more ideal. But yeah, so we're gonna take this plant, give it a flip, loosen that pot up, slide right out. You can see here, the like root growth is perfect on these because they're not wrapping around the pot, they're going straight down. Um, and they're looking pretty white and nice. So I'm just gonna take her and dip her in here for a couple of seconds, get some And there she goes. What a beauty. Sour tangy number three. I really like, we love these big pots. They're rocking. The plant just grows so fast. It, it uh, especially these clones. We've got definitely some good genetics. This one was, uh, some very tall, tall plants. Very quickly. And I'm just gonna wrap up. Around here, give a little wood chip mulch in. Make a little circle around her. Oh. She tried to keep the wood chips a little bit away from the beast, but she's also pretty big, so. Don't really have to worry about that, nice and woody. Oop. Bag him and tag him. That's it. Now we're changing number three.